Okay. This tutorial we're going to cover making maps. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to show off the various features of the Embrace Map Editor. So the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to go in to our main vampire directory, vampire masquerade redemption directory, <clears throat> and um, to set up to, to properly set up Embrace uh, after you install the Nod SDK, which includes Embrace, <clears throat> you'll also want to go into the directory here and. You'll see the, the, the knobs here. <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to right click on codex.knob and what we're going to do is we're going to extract all of the content from codex.knob into the codex folder. And when we check codex we have these executables here along with several class files that are all now physically uh, located in the codex folder. And the reason why we do this is because Embrace cannot read any of the class files in the knob. And if you if you want to create um, clickable doors or scripts of any kind for your map, <clears throat> they have to be physically located in the codex folder rather than in the knob file. That now we're ready to start up the Embrace uh, map editor. <clears throat> and for the purpose of this tutorial, I did a fresh, fresh start of Embrace so that you can see step by step what, what Embrace is going to show when you first start it up. So, what you do is press OK out of there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with a two-button <clears throat> mouse system for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm also going to enable paint sizing info and I'm going to enable texture scroll bar. <clears throat> and later on I'm going to cover dev mode. So I'm going to put that in the run options. Eventually I'll cover what it means to run in dev mode. But for now uh, we're just going to start up Embrace. <clears throat> we're going to we're going to build a project so that everything can be organized. Um, I'm going to call this project My Maps. And I'm going to maximize this out. I'm going to, and then I'm going to press this little button right here. And this is going to set default window positions. And that cleans everything up. <clears throat> and from here, I'm going to go into my project settings. and I'm going to check box level scenes um, um, sounds as well maybe pretty much anything that we can use pretty much anything we want to uh, assign to a fresh folder so it doesn't get scattered all around the main vampire masquerade redemption folder so it, it, with the when you set up a project, everything's going to be um, consolidated into one folder here. It's going to be put in here, my maps. And notice since I uh, since I set up since I did the setup in here for all of the things I want sent into the my maps folder. It created some new folders here inside uh, inside our project directory. And when you export, when you do an export of a map, your files are going to go in here. And uh, after we build our map, I'm going to cover how to make a chronicle. And chronicles are what makes your maps appear in multiplayer. <clears throat> So let's get started here. Um, so here's here's the embrace interface. Right over here we got the camera. There's nothing really built, so you can't really see what's over there. Um, we have our console. If you press T, um, you would also get textures. 
um, you can load in textures by going into textures here and uh, choosing um, a texture set um, by default there are five texture sets there's general London New York Prague and Vienna um, I'm gonna load up I'm gonna load up London and load all textures and press T again now we uh, now we have the scroll bar here and we can just scroll down and look at all the textures that are available also if you press um, if you press N you also said there's also the uh, the things and templates folder I mean the things and templates uh, window and inside things and templates um, you have a uh, list of available templates and they're not files and uh, here's here's the thing that you should know right off hand <clears throat> embrace automatically loads any not file that is either installed um, in the main directory if it's even if it's in a knob it'll read uh, not files that are in a dot knob um, this is both convenient, but it's also uh, it can be, it can be problematic because um, what happens is uh, em Embrace has a limit on how many .not files can be loaded in this interface, and the limit is 20. If you exceed 20, <clears throat> um, you'll get an error message uh, saying that you have exceeded the max amount of dot not files and the best thing to do is to make sure that when you're running embrace um, only have um, so many not knob files in here um, let me let me point out what knob files you should not move the ones that I've selected here these are all pre-included with the game you got codex levels L materials local English for typically an English install resource dot knob and sounds these should not be touched anything else um, like the Santa Monica thing that I had installed this is a this is actually a custom this is a this is a custom add-on this is a this is actually the a bloodlines mod that's uh, being developed by the upstart and it, it does no harm to keep it in there. Also, this is loading a poison weapons dot not. That's also located in um, that's located in the miscellaneous directory here. It's loading that. So you you make sure you check both your miscellaneous templates folder and any knob files you have installed in the main directory. Because if you have too many installed and each of those knob files has a not file in there uh, Embrace is going to keep trying to load them <clears throat> and if it exceeds its 20 maximum um, it won't it'll give you an error message saying it will not load because you've exceeded the maximum so whenever you get that error just go into your main uh, your main VTMR directory and remove the knob files so alright also um, resolution wise um, Currently, right now, I have my resolution set up so I can get uh, an optimal amount of screen here. I got 1360 by 768. Um, for this, um, for this left to right, um, it's recommended to have at least a, a resolution of 1024 at least to run Embrace properly. Because if you press um, uh, Shift C, you get the uh, you get this codex uh, linking. Um, window, and this is going to be this is going to be a part an important part of development later on. You're um, you'll be using this uh, codex linker religiously, especially if you're going to start making a scripted map with cutscenes and and w I'll be covering all of that. But uh, by default, notice that it kind of started out to the side. Well, uh, if your resolution was really low, like 800 by 600, it would it would uh, have spawned off the screen it would not have been on the screen you wouldn't be able to see it uh, so you you gotta make sure your resolution is high enough and then when you press shift C 
it'll pop up 